An artist did that, I think. So my background is loving art and doing art my entire life since I was about five years old. Our mother was the artist of the community and I was really proud of her accomplishments and knew that I always loved it. Never dreamed that it would be my life's passion, even though it was a seed since I was five. And teaching art just kind of fell into place. My paintings are optimistic. I want people to see life and, and color and God and just energy and peace and beauty. I have to paint. It feeds me, it feeds my soul. And if I can paint something like my grandfather or uh, these unknown children on the steps and tell a story and relay something and move someone, then I want it, that's my number one subject matter. And so I started with watercolor and just worked with it and worked with it in the traditional approach, using the white of the paper and so forth. I first go to oil paintings today, but for fun, I do some soft pastels or maybe some small six inch oils on tiles. If I'm doing a mural in someone's home, I'll use acrylic like you do in your sky and your big tree. So mm -hmm. if you have less foliage here and you had a little bit more sky, that would pop the contrast if you had a light sky and a dark tree. And let's paint yellows and, and move the feathers because there's texture to his feathers just like your mm -hmm. hair, okay? And where his neck comes out, we can bring that blue out a little bit right okay. in here. Okay. Okay, so let's paint from here down and sculpt his body. The way My art class started out Oh, uh, about two decades ago um, when I needed to buy a trampoline for my kids. And I needed the income to do that. But the classes were so much fun and I got to fellowship with people that it just kept going and going and going. They just had a life of their own. I have a group of people now who come on Thursdays and I begin the classes at two o'clock and they'll come in at their time slot and we'll fellowship and we'll paint and they'll talk to each other and they'll encourage each other. I could have a lady working in watercolor sitting next to a lady working in oils or in the next hour somebody in soft pastels. Your line's good but I think this arch right there needs to come out maybe one canvas bump more. Up. Up. Okay. Right at this part right here. All right. Okay. So Next to the ponytail. Absolutely next to the ponytail. So if this came straight down. My students range uh, from just learning a few basic things at this time with maybe without great expectations of becoming a professional artist. But then the, the ones that come year after year, and I have several, many that do that, they want to go a step higher in their techniques I've been doing a series of uh, country cottages. This is my sixth one. <laughs> it's just a great class. We have a wonderful instructor. She can look at a piece and tell you exactly what you need to do. It's like having a perfect ear in music, a <laughs> perfect pitch. She has perfect vision as far as painting because she can absolutely tell you what to do next. <laughs> and sometimes we need that even if we're 20 year old students. <laughs> you get this done the way you want it, I'd start in here with your chair, okay. But I would go ahead and get this the way you want it. I would not do these little lines. We have such great camaraderie and have so much fun. And we're all age ranges, but we just have such a great time together, not just in art class, but outside of class. We do dinner and movies, and we go to other art museums and take excursions to different cities to see other art. And, all my life I'd wanted a paint, and I knew I could draw, but I was a science major, so all the way through high school and college, it was mostly the science track. I think it's just a real creative outlet, and it's also a release from stress of, you know, your daily life and job. And, and in the laboratory, I'm working with everything super tedious, and here, some parts of painting are, but it's really a great stress reliever. After teaching so many years, I wanted to give the students a show of their own. In April, we had a show at Kentucky Wesleyan College at the Ralph Center, and it consisted of over 215 paintings uh, of four mediums. And this is the works done by my students as well as by myself. 
some artists may have one painting in the show. Some may have 14 or 10 or six or whatever, it varies. They may be workshop pieces or there may be pieces that the students have done on the Thursday classes. The works that you'll see here will be impressionistic to fun and crazy to realism. We've had three shows five years apart over a span of 15 years, and I have been as proud of the first show as I was of the second show and the third show. It doesn't make any difference if it's Owensboro or Evansville or New York City or Atlanta, Georgia. Artists need a group of supporters that encourage each other. You get fed by the people that are around you. We weren't meant to be in this world all by ourselves. We're meant to share it with other people, if it's in a marriage or if it's in an art class or in a school room. And when those people come and give me a block of time every week, month after month, year after year, there is, there's a kinship there. I paint for myself and I teach not just for the income that it gives me, but because I have the love of art in me to, to do it and to share it. And until I know that I'm supposed to do something different, this is what I'll continue to do. It is for the love of art.